heretic, a nonconformist, one who dissents from accepted beliefs. Working with the crew from wheel to wheel powertrain, we're taking a 2006 Ford Mustang GT, adding a GM LSX engine, twin turbochargers, and building the ultimate streetcar. Now that the Heretics got its power by way of the LSX block, we move on to the Turbonetics turbochargers and their mounting points. Next, we'll show off our three link rear suspension, the rear trans tunnel and tin work, our one off custom forge line wheels matched with some six piston bare brakes, and finally, the fully fabricated custom dash. Welcome back to Project Heretic. My name is Tim Johnston for Power TV. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about five reasons that Project Heretic is unique, starting with the Turbonetics turbochargers and their mounting points. We've decided to move the turbocharger up into the inside headlight location. Uh, it kind of has a good look to it. When the car is together in a drag strip mode, it'll have no air filters on it, and you'll see the wheels actually spinning, and you'll see the internal plumbing for the uh, GTK turbo inlet. Side benefit is the, the, the ram air effects. The car gets up to speed, it'll start ramming more air into the turbocharger, making it easier to make boost. The collectors were made by Wolf Aircraft, who also supplied the 321 stainless bends that we use as we cut and paste to make everything fit into the uh, engine bay of the Mustang. Three-leg suspension is something that's in the Mustang when it's new. Uh, we've had to rebuild it, modify it, um, in order to get the car slammed lower to the ground. And we've used the three-link because we want to use uh, something that'll be do well on a road course as well as a drag strip, be robust enough to hold the power and, and yet still go around a corner when it needs to. Uh, the three-link lets the car articulate right and left while keeping the car centered with the Watts linkage that's in the back. Moser Engineering supplied an M9 fabricated rear end housing for use in the Heretic Mustang. Another unique aspect of the Heretic is the interior and wheel tubs that will accommodate the huge wheel and tire combination we are utilizing. With tires to exceed 335 millimeters at the rear, we needed large wheel tubs and a fabricated floor to be able to both fit the tires, as well as get the Heretic low enough for superior handling and performance, which complements the Moser rear end and BMR suspension nicely. Heretic needs to look good on both the street and track. We selected forge line wheels for both their lightweight and extreme strength. We're going to show you how we make the SP3P, which is the wheel we're putting on the Power TV Heretic Mustang. A similar machine, the CNC lathe, actually cuts the profile and make, actually makes the shape of the top of the bottom of the center. It then goes into a CNC mill like this one, and we have several. That actually cuts into the design, drills the bolt pattern, drills the holes around the outside, and mills the pad that makes the offset. Once the wheel is finished, the forge line is a work of art. The three-piece wheel will set off the orange planet color paint just the way we want. We went to the team at Bear Brakes for a set of their Bear Extreme Plus 14-inch six-piston caliper brakes. These brakes featured the Bear 6S six-piston monoblock calipers. Once we get Heretic running, we'll need the extreme stopping power and confidence of the Bear Extreme Plus system. Hi, my name is Carl Krieger charge the plastics department at wheel to wheel powertrain. What we have here is a prototype part that we made for the Heretic Mustang. We started out with a finished rendering from Brad and Jason. From there we, we set up all the interior pieces for the dash, decided what we were going to take out and what we needed to take out to add clearance for the clay model. And then we structured for the backing of the clay and then from there we roughed in the clay model to 
committed to a final design and then cleaned up the surfaces. One of the features they wanted on this part is they wanted a recessed logo for the Heretic Mustang concept. So they got with the Jason, the designer, and Brad and the customer, and they, they got a logo together. Once they made the logo, they transferred it to an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper and laid low density foam over that and trimmed that out with the X-Acto knife. And then we had to insert that in our tool before we laid up the part. So there you have it, five reasons that make Project Heretic unique. In the next episode of Project Heretic, we'll be taking the LSX short block that we built up, making it into a long block, attaching the TCI torque converter and TCI transmission to it, and dropping it between the frame rails of Project Heretic. So stay tuned, my name's Tim Johnston for Power TV.